was this thing really street legal? Yeah, absolutely. You ready? Yep. This my, this my shit, oh tell her you're not my bitch This my, this my shit, oh tell her get off my dick Digi dash, nitro gas, time is passing Quick, 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 I just want tonight to last Life go fast, it tick, 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 tick Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are at autocross number two for the year. And actually, it's looking like the events are getting a little bit bigger. We got a lot more cars out here than we did in the past. Like for example, there's actually a 2018. It looks like a track dedicated car. So I'm pretty excited to see that. Of course, we got the Z28 as well. A few other cars getting tacked right now. And then there's actually a few Corvettes, few more Mustangs. And for the first time in a while, there's actually another 350Z. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, here we go. We're starting the day off. First heat. We're gonna be some of the first people to run. And as usual, of course, I'm gonna say it, for the first time we go out on the track, we're driving slow. We're going as slow as possible so that we can learn the course and try to memorize it. Which everybody always laughs at me saying that because uh, I usually end up going pretty fast. But we're gonna we're gonna try and go slow. That's my goal. So now this is a pretty interesting course because it's fairly simple. As in, we cut left right here, few slaloms, turn around, few slaloms, and then turn around and few slaloms again. I'm not a big fan of slaloms, but uh, we're gonna find out how it goes. Good. Here we go. I guess I caught some cones in the front. Are we good? Yep. All right. Oh shit. Yeah, the core is definitely making another like five pounds of boost. It's very noticeable. Another cone stuck underneath. Probably. Oh boy. Yeah, there's a. There must be a cone under it. You took out about six. Uh, I didn't mean to. Good. All right. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the core is very very obviously faster than it was last time we were here oh my god what's up man that is way faster the yeah video? it's a lot faster than it was at the last event yeah. yeah i didn't expect it to do that like any throttle it just spins a tire so i'm like i gotta figure out how to drive the car now do you want to maybe go slow this time what do you want to maybe go slow this time i'm gonna try and go slower each time i'm always going to get a little bit more control over the vehicle it's just like fuck this thing's too fast the tires i think it's just also because the tires are old the tires are a few years old now so it's a little bit tough to get them up to temp and get them sticky i mean good news is that the car is launching well yeah i'm not spinning on the launch i think i got that part down now it's just figuring out how to drive it this car is just genuinely stupid <laughs> Dude, this car is so overwhelming. Did you not figure out which way to go 
No, I was, uh, I had a brain fart a little bit and I was gonna take it on the outside and then I remembered that it wasn't optional. All right, third time to charm. Maybe this one will be smooth now that I've made the mistakes and figured it out a little bit. We'll see how this one goes. I think I got it now, at least somewhat. <laughs> It definitely be like that. I am struggling so much. <laughs> this just this just hard as fuck to drive. Maybe we'll actually get a proper run this time and not DNF the fuck up. I haven't had a solid run yet. I believe in myself. One day at an event, I'm just gonna hire like five cheerleaders to come on the side and hold up. Oh, you don't think that would be funny? You can run it. Are they going to be male Six, seven. All right, cool. The first time took me four times, four tries to get through the course without DNFing. Something smells like gas. I don't know why something smells like gas. I noticed it at the end of that run. I'll have to look into it. I'm just happy that I'm getting some seat time in the car because I need it. I really need the seat time. I need tires, I need brakes, suspension, and seat time, most importantly. All right, well, anyways, that's it for the first heat time to get out go work and then we'll be back in about probably an hour or two bye everybody what's that oh shit yeah damn thank you well damn i guess i'm just not gonna have that gopro i didn't even notice it fell off all right, well, that's off the picture. I'll put it back on later. But anyways, this is run number five. Uh, getting right back into it. Car is probably going to be a little bit, I guess, soft. The tires are cold, and uh, I'm not warmed up because I've been sitting around for a while. So we'll just we'll just see how this goes. <laughs> Seven three. Okay, so that's not a bad one back into it. There's been a lot of people spinning out on this course. Like it has just been extremely unforgiving to anybody driving today. All right, so we're gonna go a little bit faster on this one. See if we can get back into the thirty sixes. <laughs> 
It's a good thing that I got these nice vinyls for my my LRB door cards. Thank you, Spinny Woosh, for the vinyls. Now I don't have to worry about these nice aluminum panels getting scratched. My clutch is being noisy as hell. Good? All right, here we go. I think I'm figuring out the car. The last two ones have been good. They've been consistent. You get one more after this, right? Yeah, I got two more. Yeah, I think I'm definitely starting to figure it out. It's just really the fact that I wasn't used to the car being already faster yeah. than it was last event. So like I was pushing it a little bit too hard. Well, and this track is- The track is hard. hard. The track is difficult, but it was definitely me just being too aggressive at first. Good. So here we go. the best one Woo. this is 35-3 yep. we've Hell saved off yeah. a second a whole second every single run so now the issue that i'm having is the fact that i have an open dip i figured out the braking i figured out handling the turn the issue is that i can't accelerate literally the biggest thing holding me back right now is the open dip i need to get a limited slip differential and then after that I think we'll have it figured out. I wonder if I can get 34s. We'll see. 34? I wonder if I can get in 34. It's going to be tough, but I might be able to get 34s. You only got to shave off 0.3 seconds. You're right. 0.4. Yeah. That was a hot one. Mm, that was dope. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Hell yeah. That was dope. Good job, Zoe. You a bad bitch. All right, so we got some fun runs. Woo. This is the first time I've ever been able to do any fun runs at an event like this. So this is your first time riding in the car ever? Yeah. All right. Nice. So you ready? Yes, sir.
Hit one cone on the slalom. Huh? Hit one cone on the slalom. I did? Yeah. Damn, I didn't even realize that. It's so crazy. It feels like that car, that car shouldn't even be able to turn like that. Yeah, and I mean, it's it's pretty limited right now. It's so like a 36.8. The fastest time I ran was a 34.9. I have a feeling this guy's gonna come ask to ride. Yep. How's it going? I, I can catch a ride with you uh, before it ends. Yeah, for uh, sure. You can actually hop in right now if yeah. you want. See, this is something cool about autocross is that anybody around, like it's a very social event. Like everybody's here to help each other. Everybody wants to see improvement and everybody wants yeah. to have a good time. So what's the fastest car you've ridden in here? Uh, I want to say the Camaro. Really? You're riding that one? Yeah. I bet that's wild. How long have you had this car? I've had this for about three years. And you stripped everything? Yep. It was just a, a normal car whenever I got it. So every single thing that's been done to it, I've done over the last three years. I gotta say, I love the door panels. Thank you. So is this thing really street legal? Yeah. Absolutely. You ready? Yep. <laughs> it's yeah, it's a little, it's it a little rowdy. And I'll tell you, it kept me in the back of my seat the whole time. It kept me back there. Thirty-six three. Sure. I feel like in a straight line against that blue Camaro, I think this would win. Really? Sure. We've been debating like on the Camaro or this, like which one's like faster. If I had to choose which one to ride in, it'd be this. One. Really? Most definitely fun though. Hell yeah! Glad you enjoyed it, man. Thank you. No problem. Y'all good? Yeah, I thought you wanted to ride. Yeah, my dumbass wasn't there. What do you mean your dumbass wasn't there? Oh, I went and ran in the car last time you came around. That's fine. Watch your feet. Be yep, careful right not to kick all that stuff. Yep. But no, you're good. I knew you were riding with people. I was just going to come by because I knew you'd be back eventually. Yeah, appreciate that. So what was your fastest time of the day? Uh, I think a 36.9. Nice. I, it was hard to cut it down to it. Yeah, I struggled a lot today too. Dude, how are those gloves? Huh? Do you like those gloves? I like them a lot. It's just that I don't know how long they're going to last. I've only worn them for like two or three events so far. And they're already ripping a little? I mean a little. Like the stitching there yeah. broke. And like there they tore open. I just noticed that. Oh, damn. So, I mean, well, like but for the use? Yeah, I mean they're not bad. I can't complain about them at all. Hell yeah. So you ready? Yep. <laughs> Day. That was rowdy, bro. <laughs> 35.5. My fastest one earlier was a 34.9. Hell yeah. That's pretty on par. But that one was definitely pretty good. Yeah. Now this is set up perfect for autocross. It's way too much power. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it's okay. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty solid. I just got to figure out traction now, but like, I can't complain with where it's at so far. You did plop on a bunch more horsepower, so. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a very big change and it's a lot to get used to. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Appreciate the run. No problem. Yeah, this is a ripper. Yeah, it definitely is. I think it's gonna be fun as hell at the track. Oh yeah. Well shit, I guess that's pretty good. I'm pretty satisfied with today. That was a hell of a lot of improvement from the start of the day to the end. Oh man, it's hot. You look salty. Salty? Yeah. I am salty. I can taste it. How's the old girl feel? Fast. Fast? <laughs> really fast. Oh, it's a lot to handle. Oh. Six eight, you ought to go drive a, an autocross Mustang. Do what? Said you ought to go drive an autocross Mustang. Oh yeah. Like How her. fast have you gone in it? Thirty four. How about oh, you take me for a ride? Thirty three eight. 
Ready? I've never ridden with anybody else in autocross before. Literally. Really? Ever. I have never ridden with somebody. Come so on. I would love if I actually rode with you instead of driving. Come on. All right. Yep. I'll be right back. So what's all done to this thing? Nothing. An alignment. It's got camber bolts in the front. That's it? That's it. It's literally a stock car? Yes. It's got SC3s on it. So it's great. just a, a really, really, really good factory car. Yes. Like great tires and in on. alignment. So that's it. That's all that's done to it. That's it. Wow, that's incredible. You ready? I'm ready. This is amazing. <laughs> oh my God. Holy shit. Wow. I am so fascinated. <laughs> I need to pick my shit up in that car. This, well, I mean, it's a very obvious difference 34 o 34 o that was already like more than half a second faster than my fastest run that's wild because obviously it's night and day difference between the brakes in this car and that car the <laughs> brakes in that car don't even compare to this it's got bondo brakes. Yeah, yeah this mine is very obviously faster but like horsepower wise mm -hmm. but like this it's so much more predictable you can fight the oversteer so much better than i can because you got the power steering too yeah. and you can <laughs> you can tell anymore. the alignment does so much because i mean you're just barely moving the wheel and you have so much input i've never gotten that car aligned in the three years i've owned it oh God. so like this is fucking cool <laughs> that was awesome fuck yeah i'm glad you liked it hell yeah that was cool that makes me want to run my mustang more yeah they just tires and alignment go a long way you're right you're definitely right on that one that was fast <laughs> Yeah, that was sweet. What tires are these? That's not even a top autocross tire by any means. Eagle F1? Yeah, Supercar 3s. Supercar 3s? Damn, that's wild. No, those are, those are, those are 275s? 285, 35. 285s. 285, yeah. So like that one's on Federal RSRRs, which I mean, that's real cheap tires, but they're but still they're 200. Decent. Yeah, I mean, they're yeah. decent. But you've like, had it's them for good a couple for what years it is. now, huh? Like, huh? they're, all right, them a couple years now. Car. Yeah, they're about we get two years old. Up if they're recycled out. Yeah. They're dead. Yeah, they're definitely dead. So, like, I've been struggling with this car. It's just, it's ready to get a nice refresh, new tires, new brakes, and then, it, like, it should do a little bit better, but for, like, what it is, I'm still happy with it. You need to find a factory diff, throw an alignment at it, yeah. get some good tires. Yeah. You know. That's probably what I'm gonna do next. This one's it's got a horrible. good torsen. It's got the torsen with yeah. 355s, and it's nice. Yeah, we've, felt... we've had a Civic like that, you know, the OS Geiken. Mm -hmm. It's amaze balls. Really? It does such a crazy thing. Like I see you okay. when you come into that. So we were just, it stand up and just. Oh, it's horrible. Roast it's it painful. It tire. Yeah, like I give it like 20%, 30% throttle, and it just, it just Light. spins. Ooh, that's exciting. I've never just like felt something set up properly. So that's really cool. And that one's got a lot to go. I mean, those are heavy wheels. We've got some light wheels that are going to shed like 10 pounds a corner. Mm -hmm. We need to go pick up stuff. Yeah. yeah we need to All right. Well, I guess we're going to go pick up some cones and do the work. And uh, I guess that'll be a wrap.